We live in the age of technology. Everywhere you look, you see people on their phones and tablets, completely engrossed in them and not paying attention to their surroundings. Living without technology is unthinkable in this day and age because everything from work and school to daily entertainment revolves around it. We surveyed a group of people of all ages to see if they thought they could go 48 hours without technology. No, no. I, I lost my phone yesterday and <laughs> I'm losing my mind, so. Girl, yeah. Definitely not. That is like my source of living. Yeah, I think I could, because my whole life, it isn't really centered around my phone, so I don't really use it that often. And when I do, it's probably to make a call or listen to music. But like during the day, I don't really be using it. So yeah, I think I can make it. Oh yeah, I think I could. I don't think I could go without it in there for 48 hours. Uh-uh, no, no. Um, yeah, I think I can. I definitely could not. I could go years without seeing all those ugly people on my Instagram. <laughs> like, I don't need to see them. Like, I could definitely do it. <laughs> but without my phone, like, I need my phone. I gotta keep in contact with some people. No. 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 I probably could not because my phone's actually broken right now and... I hate my life. Um, I don't know if I can go 48 hours without technology, but I really hope that I can. I think that I could go 48 hours without technology because I'm grounded a lot, so that's basically the same thing, right? These responses show that people are largely dependent on technology in their daily lives. So we decided to do an experiment and go without the luxury of modern technology for 48 hours. I'm starting the no internet thing, like, right now, and I'm not going to get on my phone yet, but, um, I probably will mess up at some point. But I'm actually worried about doing a digital detox because I usually, I obsessively check my email and obviously my phone too, but my phone is like, absolute trash like it's just like super messed up and it's awful but um and i have a shop i have an etsy shop and so it's like i'm gonna be ignoring orders i kind of cheated um we actually use computers in this class so i can't like get on it So I just got um, home, I was at Incredible Pizza with my friends and my mom was probably texting me the whole night like oh where are you or like when you're gonna be home and stuff but I didn't check my phone and I didn't even bring it in. It's, it's not easy because I keep on wanting to just like pull out my phone and like check it but I think that it's good for me that I'm not really using my phone or anything because I, I use it too much and it's like um, I hate how accustomed I am to being like obsessive over technology. Hi guys, so it's been about maybe seven hours and I've just been doing a lot of homework and reading and stuff. I haven't gotten on my phone or anything. So hopefully I can keep that up and just keep being productive. So it's been maybe 15 hours now and I got ahead on my homework like I'm ahead of what we're supposed to be doing now and I took a nap so it's been 24 hours and I've gone a whole day without technology I can't believe that I did that I'm so proud of myself just one more day now um, today was kind of hard like I got really bored at some point but I was also really productive, like I got so much schoolwork done. So hopefully I'll just keep being productive tomorrow, except tomorrow I have school, so I'm kind of nervous for that because technology is such a big part of school now, like I don't really know what I'm going to do. school it's been about 42 hours now and 
I didn't realize how hard it was going to be. Like, everything relies on technology now. It's crazy. And trying to, like, have conversations with people was so difficult because they'd just be staring at their phones the whole time. Like, they wouldn't make eye contact or anything, and they were so detached from the conversation. And that's definitely something that I hope that I don't do, but I'm definitely going to be way more aware of that once I do get my phone back because that's just so not not only is it like disrespectful it's just like you can't live your life through a screen you know it's like you can't do that wow I'm getting really angry okay so it's been 48 hours I did it I went 48 hours without technology and I didn't crack once I'm so proud of myself I've learned a lot from doing this and I'm definitely going to try and stay off of my phone and just be more aware and interact with people face to face more than just through a phone. I think that's really important and it's definitely something that I learned while doing this. Yeah, I'm really happy to have my phone and laptop back well and to be able to watch TV again. I mean, there are definitely luxuries that I take for granted so I'm, I'm definitely gonna try and not take that for granted like ever again <laughs> peace out hey guys today is my first day of digital detox and I'm actually kind of scared because I don't think I've really gone without internet for a day and yeah so wish me luck Hey guys, this is hour 13 and um, I'm just now getting ready for bed. I found that today was really hard because I didn't have my phone to get on whenever I was bored. I, I read a book, I, um, I went on a run, and I'll check back in tomorrow morning and tell you how everything's going then. Hey guys, this is the um, start of my day two of the digital detox and you know what I'm actually pretty confident going into this because yesterday I did really good not getting on my phone or anything I feel like I'm more productive when I don't have my phone so yeah I'm gonna try and keep doing productive things and yeah bye it's been 36 hours and um well, I almost used my phone for one thing, but I didn't, and I found a way to work around it, so that's really good, and I'm really happy that I didn't um, use my phone for that reason. I kind of had a hard time going without technology because I'm so used to always being on like social media or something um, involving the internet, but... I did it, so, yeah. Doing the digital detox was really hard because pretty much everything relies on technology from entertainment to school, and it's just really hard to not even be able to do your schoolwork because you don't have technology. Okay, I finished the digital detox, and I realized that I used my phone for everything, and it the digital detox was really hard for me, but I would like to go once a week without being on my phone at all. I feel like I would um, get more stuff done because I realize that I get more stuff done when I don't have my phone. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm done. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
We can just stop it after I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. People. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, Grandma. <laughs> we didn't break it. I promise. Take no. I just caught up. No. <clears throat> um, this is. Crap. Hey guys, um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a Christmas sweater, it's because it's crazy Christmas sweater day. Also, I'm wearing these crazy socks. Who am I looking at? Who am 